Okay, we just started finishing our chicken tractor that we've shown you on a couple of other videos. And today, granted this is only temporary, they're only two weeks old, we decided to bring the little chicks outside to see the great outdoors. Yes, it's not finished. We still have a few holes in it. But since they're still so little, we can get away with it. They're not sure what to do with themselves. Give you guys a little bit more detail about the uh, the design of this thing. Um, I liked the barn style roof, and I had those pieces of aluminum here, and I had the lumber here. But as you can see, there's a substantial hole up there. That's actually a good thing. Um, we'll cover that with hardware cloth, and then we'll put across the top here, put some one by twos to hold that hardware cloth down. And then over that, we'll put another piece of metal, and that'll give good ventilation. Same with the eaves. We'll put some hardware cloth in there, um, and that will keep the eaves ventilated and keep the pests out. On the back, I learned something valuable. Um, if you're going to put screws in plexiglass, drill it first, because it will crack. So I'm gonna end up having to replace this. But it wasn't really wide enough anyhow, I had a seam. Um, but it'll do for the meantime until we can get some new materials. Um, this layer here at the first level is at three foot, which is the height of the chicken wire. And we'll put a foot in the floor in there. And the top section will be the hen house, and the bottom section will be the run. And we've done these little tires on here, still need to get some nuts to lock them down. And that will let us move it every day. So. These little chicks will have fresh pickings on the ground every single day. Um, that's our chicken tractor. Hydroponic system update. As you can see, our lettuces are doing wonderful. The parsley is still looking the same. The broccolis are making tons of these little heads. Um, as long as they're making them, we'll leave them in here or until I need these holes for lettuce. Whichever happens first. And our duckweed is much happier when this is full because there's not as much water, surface water motion. That's the aquaponics system. Going on in the aquaponics, noisy in here. The little lettuces we put in here for seedlings are doing quite well. The beans are climbing like crazy. Uh, got one here that fell down into the water. I'll have to direct him over so that he can climb with the rest of them until I can get some more strings or something done for him. I've got some string algae growing in here. I'm not going to complain. I will actually harvest that to feed to the tilapia. The little tomato cuttings are taking over on this side. Our First tomato is already turning red, and we've got a couple of more, and there's a bunch of little tiny ones all around in the plant. Um, we've been told we have one more freeze. I don't see it in the forecast, but we're gonna wait to pop this top until we know that that time has passed. We got these little guys. I don't like starting strawberries from seeds, so we went ahead and got uh, 10 um, seedlings, or I won't say seedlings, they were started from runners, so they're already uh, flowering and bearing fruit. And we will move those out. They're going to go in a vertical tower um, upcoming here in the near future. And our fish are just as happy as can be. It's a little bit chilly in the water, so we gotta wait for it to warm back up. And that's where she's at. Remember, happy fish make happy plants. 
Don't know what to make of this, do ya? You want to get at those little birds, don't ya? This is why we have to use a chicken tractor. Because this is our big predator. At least during the day. Felinus ferocious. <laughs> well, there they are all together. Our entire flock. Three Rhode Island Reds. Five Barred Plymouth Rocks. Three lovebirds and a conure. <laughs> Enjoying the sun.